Hi everyone, I'm the Book Geek 23, reviewing fiction and fantasy books for teens and tweens. Today I'm going to be reviewing um, the first book in the Five Kingdoms series, Sky Raiders. And if you've been keeping up with the videos that I've been posting, um, I'm taking a break from Keeper of the Lost Cities just because I've already done two and I want to switch it up a little because they're very similar, but at the same time, different. So. Let's just get right into it. So, Five Kingdoms Sky Raiders by Brandon Mole. He has a lot of books, so it's not just... This is not the only series, so I'll be reviewing more. He has Dragon Watch, he has Fable Haven, and he has Brother Brotherhood, I think, or... Beyonders, sorry. I'm thinking of... Uh, the person who wrote uh, *Rangers Apprentice*, if anyone knows that, but yeah. Uh, so he has three. Or, he has four series. Uh, this is just one of them. Actually, yeah, he has f four series. So it's Five Kingdoms Sky Raiders. Um, the summary of the book, in my words, uh, I don't want to spoil it, but. Um, so there's this boy who gets kidnapped by um, people from, like, another, not exactly another world, but another part of Earth. Like, not a country, a different, it's like a different universe, it's a different universe connect, so it's a different dimension, basically. So he gets kidnapped by these people. But, uh, and then he get as a slave, and then, um, he gets sold to these people called the Sky Raiders who raid sky castles in the sky. It's very confusing. I don't really like that about it. It's super confusing. Because there's all these new things. Not much of it is similar to what we have here. Like, um, Keeper of the Lost Cities, there's some stuff similar. But this one, there's, like, nothing. So, I don't really like that about it. But, uh, back to the summary, he gets kidnapped by these people and sold to these Sky Raiders. Then he escapes the Sky Raiders and, um, sets out on adventures in the rest of the series to, um, reclaim his shaping power and rescue the five princesses. Cause, because it is called Five Kingdoms, and there are five kingdoms, and the princesses are... There's basically one in each kingdom. It's kind of... So, um, it's kind of weird that way. There's, five is a very special number in this series. Like, everything has five, basically. So, it's, that's kind of interesting the way that Brandon Bull did that. So, um, yeah, not to spoil anything, that's all that I'm going to say about it because... A, I don't really remember every single part of it, and those are the main parts that I remember. And B, I don't want to spoil it. So, two good reasons why I shouldn't tell you the rest of it. You should all get this book and find out. So now, on to the stuff that I don't like about it, and the stuff that I do like about it. So... There's so much action in here, and that can be a good thing and a bad thing. So, I like it, but I don't. And another thing I like about it is it's very interesting, the way... Because there's all this stuff that we don't know about, and it's like all this, all these things that are new to us because this is completely made up. So there's all these new ideas and stuff. So there's all that, but then... That is also, like, act, like um, it being action-packed, that has a downside, which is there's so much um, stuff that, um, there's so much new stuff that we don't understand. Um, there's a lot of stuff happening, which I don't like. It's so action-packed that that's almost bad. So I don't like that about it, but... Um, there's also a lot of problems that this uh, kid, Cole, on the cover, um, has to face. Like, there's so many problems, it gets a little confusing, and you can't really keep track of what's happening. 
So basically, recap and stats of the book are, it's uh, called Sky Raiders by Brandon Mull. It was published by Aladdin in 2014, so it's fairly new, but not too new. I mean, it's not like it's just came out. It's been out a while, but it's not a very well-known series, or at least I didn't know about it. So, yeah. Um, it's the first in the Five Kingdom series, so if you want to read five books in rapid succession, just go here. Um, these are actually the covers of the books that I the other Five Kingdom books, so just so uh, la this is the fifth, fourth, third, second, and uh, first. So those are the books to look for if you want to read this series. Um, it has 421 pages, which is not as many. Well, it's a good amount of pages, but um, I actually like. Judging from the cover and the backstory, I would think that there would be more pages, but there aren't. And, um, looking at the print, just randomly opening it, I mean, it's not very big, but it's also not the smallest print that I've seen, so, it would, if you actually had small print, it would probably be, like, smaller. It's kind of big for print. Um, my age recommendation is 8 to 12 years, just because it's not, like, you can easily, like, it's just not a very hard read. It's just, yeah, it, do, it doesn't present much of a challenge to young readers, so I wouldn't, and if you get over 12, then it gets kind of, like, too young for 12-year-olds, so... That's why I put only up to 12. Um, my thoughts, just all of them in a short period of time. Uh, Action-packed, confusing, too much happening, lots of problems to fix, and interesting. So, two good things, uh, three bad things. So... The bad things outweigh the good things in this case. I didn't really like the book, but I didn't really hate the book, so it's kind of in between, and that's why I'd only give it a two-star rating out of five. If you're new to j this channel, uh, one, uh, no stars, then one star, then two star, then three star, then four star, then five star is the way that I rate these. So five star being the best and no stars being the worst. So, um... Yeah, that's my rating, and it's just because I didn't really like it, and I didn't really hate it, so that's, like, the middle ground between those, because there's six ratings, and if you count uh, no stars, then this would be the third rating instead of the second, so just in the middle, because I'm in the middle in my feelings about it, so yeah. Please like, comment, and subscribe below, and... Uh, come back next week for the next book that I am going to be reviewing, which is, let me find it. Um, mm -hmm. um, ah, here it is. Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.